$30 chicken tractor. $30 chicken tractor. Not bad. beautiful people it is cloudy and cool 75 degrees maybe it's less like it's like 70 it feels so fabulous cool. it is absolutely fabulous we've just been like wandering outside going it's so nice the rain has broken we got a deluge del that was deluge so however you say that rain it was so much rain it was an insane amount of rain but it's good because the crops are watered we don't have to water today it's all good so today we've got a break in the rain now and it is cool like we said so we are building we are building a chicken tractor yes uh this is just scrap lumber these were the interior walls i know right how cool is that cheap one buys that are reuse and recycle y'all okay, we're reusing we need something to upgrade the, the chicks to yes eventually i'm gonna build probably a chick shop yeah I, the more i think about it the way I want to be able to focus where we have them, I think a chick shot is how I'm going to do it. Yes. But right now, we need something to keep them from escaping. Because they're trying to escape. We've got this circle, the pin that we've had them in, and they're just like jumping out. And like every day, at least have one we, of them gets have out. Have we had them a week now? Uh, maybe Just over a week? Maybe two weeks now. I don't even remember. Yeah. Time is flying. But and they're just, you know how chickens get, like little baby chicks. They're like, freedom. I see freedom. So. We are making basically an impenetrable fortress to keep them where they need to be because <laughs> they're all over the place. So it's not going to be anything crazy. It's just going to be a six by six yep. by two foot tall square yeah. with a roof and a entry door. Yeah. And we'll use that as our uh, chicken tractor down the road. For meat birds, yeah. yeah basically. All of Joel Salatin. Yeah. Uh, basically just use it until it falls apart. We're using down there on the barn there's a roof we got, we've showed you guys that before it's collapsing so i'm gonna pull the tent off that yes uh, it, again with the reusing having so much stuff it doesn't make sense not to right we might as well repurpose while we can so, so let's get this party started we're hoping this is quick and dirty we're even using reclaimed screws i know it's so cool i'm gonna, we're gonna be so proud of this chicken coop yes it's gonna be awesome <laughs> You know what's funny? It's a mobile coop. Maybe ah, mobile from home. a mobile home. Uh -huh. I think Joel Salatin would be proud of the ingenuity and repurposing of, of this whole thing. So for the people who are wondering, this is my helper. Yes. Uh, there's a pretty good sized channel that me and the boys watch called uh, Primitive Technology. Oh, we love Primitive Technology. And uh, if anybody knows the channel, like guy goes out in the woods and builds fire with his bare hands and makes mud huts. So that's where my other help is. They're down in the dugout playing in the mud. Yes. Have, they've made slingshots out of just rope. They are having a ball. They're having so much fun. So it's like, you know what? I'll just let them play. Yeah. As soon as the rain let up, they were like, we're going to the dugout. It's like, go for it, guys. They're going to be covered in mud when they come They out. are, but that's why we got a shower. Yay. Yay. I made a box. <laughs> you made a box. Congratulations. <laughs> you hate it when it's like yeah I'll do this project real quick three hours later
That's it. Oh, that's sad. It did. Replacement battery. There we go. All right. Hiya. You did it. Nice gotta job. Make, just got to make a door. Yep. That will be tomorrow. Chicken tractor, day two. What's the plan for today? Uh, I'm going to build a door. Door. And that's, that's it. That's it. And then we have a chicken tractor. So we realized this is a six by six. And I did some math and I did some research online. Not chicken math, right? Maybe. No, actually, that it would, was literal chicken math. Chicken math. <laughs> we could fit probably about 20 meat birds in here. So this will be our our chickies for now, our layer chickies, and then we'll move them into a chick shaw mm -hmm. with nest boxes and all that goodness. But this is also going to be our meat chicken tractor. Yep. So in the future, when we get to that point, yep, it'll be about 20 birds. So door, and we're done. Yep. All right, get to it. <laughs> well, cabinet hinges. I mean, they're not the best, but hey. Free hinges. Free hinges. That yeah, that's a work. Yeah. Boom. Chicken tractor. That was like one of the easiest, fastest projects. This looks really nice, dude. Oh, look, a chicken. Are you going to be the chicken? You're a goofball. That one's yours. Yeah, I think I'm gonna gusset the inside. Okay. That's a lot sturdier. Is that better? That'll work. All right, cool. There we go. Okay, let's get the poor chickies and bring them out. I know. <laughs> they were inside all day with the rain it yesterday. Rained. They never got to come outside. And then they've been waiting on us now. Yep. I think we literally used all of um, probably about a dozen purchased screws. Okay. Every, everything on this, aside from the hardware cloth, was salvaged. Nice. The wood was salvaged, the metal was salvaged, uh, the hinges were salvaged. So we have maybe $30 in this. Probably about 30 bucks. Sweet! Maybe less. I'd have to look at how much the hardware cloth was. But yeah. I'll go back and look at the receipt, but like I can't believe that. And it's just one 15 foot roll of uh, hardware cloth around the side, around the side, and then a piece for the top. For the top. Thirty dollar chicken tractor. Thirty dollar chicken tractor. Not bad. <laughs> lasagna for dinner obviously uh, it is quite a treat I don't make it very often because it's like a four hour long process because I make the cheese and I make the sauce and it's a whole it's a thing and I'll drop the recipe for that below because I know y'all are gonna ask so <laughs> I'll be sharing and you should feel very privileged because this is my recipe that I have come up with and I don't really share it with anybody so now I'm sharing it with everybody on the internet <laughs> before we eat that while that's cooling um, the boys are gonna show us what they have been working on over here in the dugout Primitive like, technology style. For like two days. Two days. Wow, you guys have gotten a lot done. All right, so give us a tour. Let me get all primitive technology. <laughs> oh, is that why you aren't wearing shirts? Here's, Here's the, the main house. house. We haven't the main finished house. it. Main house? Okay. Chimney, fireplace. Nice firewood. <laughs> it's not all firewood. Here's the uh, That's storage area. Wood storage. Okay. Cool. The, we still gotta finish the roof. This is the doorway. It's mm -hmm. a not like a walk-in. You have to like crawl in. Oh, you do. Okay. A salt and pepper. Salt store. and pepper shelf. Also yeah. canteen shelf. Nice. Yeah. This is our outhouse. outhouse. Just because. Just in case. Just in case. Really that's gross. that's a good good way to think about it. Just in case. The way how you open the thing to do stuff in. The do stuff in. <laughs> Nice, yeah. nice thing to do stuff in. Right on, guys. So you're planning to put our roof on it? Yeah. Out of sticks and mud. Sticks and mud. So you're going to go cob style? Yeah. Awesome. Probably. We want to make it uh, 
insulated so we can sleep in it. Cool. Yeah. All right, so that's where you're planning on sleeping this winter? Yeah. We're working on the mobile home for me and Dad, and you guys are working on this. Yeah, you guys get comfortable beds. We'll just, All right, we'll sounds just, good. Right. We just sleep in the mud. Okay. All right, there you go. It's time to go eat, and that's it for the day. Yeah? Yep. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.